Happy New Year. Let's get things moving in this 60 Seconds with Suzanne tutorial microsode. Animation. The timeline can be used to control your animation. To change the length of your animation, set your start and end frame. In this case, I'll set it to 24 frames. And there you have it. Now, if you want to see the entire range, hover over the timeline and click the home key. There you go. To create a simple animation, you got to make sure that your object is selected. So here we have the handy dandy cube. And we're going to make sure that I'm on frame one. I can click and drag my timeline using my left mouse button to do that. Or I could type here and just make sure that that's on frame one. There we are. And then I'm going to click and drag and move my cube over here. Like I said, this is going to be a very simple animation. Next, what I'll do is I'll hit the I key. And you can see that I have all kinds of options here, but I'm simply going to choose location. Now, what we have to do is we have to move to our next frame. So I'll just slide over to frame 24. And before I move on, notice that the keyframe has shown up here in the timeline. So now that we're at frame 24, I'm going to click and drag and move my cube over across the grid. And once again, I'll hit the I key and select location. Now, you can either hit the play forward button if you want. There we go. I'll hit pause. Or, as you just saw there, you can hit Alt-A to start and end your animation. Finally, if you want, you can hit shift uh, the left arrow button or the right arrow button to go to the first or last frame. Well, there you have it. Some very simple animation tools in Blender. Like I said, Happy New Year. We'll see you in the future as we cover more cool topics in Blender.